What's up, guys? I, uh, I got a new guitar. I ordered it. actually came from the UK. Um, it's a, a Fender guitar that I've been looking for for a while. Uh, Squire recently reissued uh, the style of guitar. It's called a Tornado. Then I remembered years ago, I saw uh, when Fender came out with them. I was very curious. I, I really liked them, but I couldn't afford them then. And uh, I can now. So I found one in the color I liked. They had uh, two versions of it um, from 90, what was it, 98 to 2003, I think. And they had like a no pick guard and had like a racing stripe on it. And then they reissued them from 2004 to 2006. This is a 2006. And uh, I'll tell you about it when I get it open. But I haven't looked at it yet. So uh, let's check out this guitar. My trusty Swiss Army knife. This is a thank you. Well, shit, man, this is really cool. I wasn't expecting uh, all this. Got a little button. Cool. Nice touch. Some picks to have their information on it, but it's also, it's a. Uh, it's an advertisement, but it's also kind of rubbery, so it's got grip. That's it's like really nice. This is cool, man. Whole invoice cost, which is not super cheap. Personal letter. Hi Ryan, thank you for your order. I hope the guitars arrive safely. If all is well, please could you leave positive feedback? Thank you very much, Stu H. Two to you, Tars. That's really fucking cool, man. Got some some cards and a couple stickers. Fucking sweet. One's gonna go right on my laptop here, right next to my Mediac and uh, Sweetwater. Very cool. And the headstock on their stickers from a Fender Starcaster. Well, that's cool, man. Shit, came with a gig bag. Hell yeah. Cheaply, but decently packed. even wrapped up inside damn man oh this color is so much better than in the picture dude i am so happy with this fucking guitar so the deal with this guitar is uh is basically to gibson specs okay what that means gibson guitars all guitar manufacturers have their own scale length. Scale length is from the 12th fret to the bridge. should be the same as the 12th fret to the nut. Fenders have a 25 and a half inch scale length. And Gibson is 24 and 3 quarter, I think. Paul Reed Smith is somewhere in between there. It's like 25. And... Uh, it gives your guitars a different feel. That's why some people like certain guitars over others is a scale length. Um, if you have the same... It's classy. Oh, God, this is gorgeous. If you have the same string gauge on a, on a Fender and a Gibson guitar, tuned to the same pitch on a Gibson guitar, the strings will be looser because it's a shorter length. They don't need as much tension to get to that pitch. Look at this. This is fucking gorgeous. God, dude. I haven't even actually really looked at it yet. I'm looking at my computer monitor. This is fucking gorgeous. Oh, wow. I have not seen one of these in person for 20 years. Damn. It's not tuned. The action is fucking super low. Here's the thing about why, why would I get a Fender guitar 
that is spec'd out like a Gibson. It's got two humbuckers, two tone, two volume controls like a Gibson. Toggle. I think the toggle's fucked up. Plug this in and we'll sort that out. <laughs> Strings look nice and straight to the neck. It plays pretty well. Fuck. What's up? Bad news, Stu. I think. I have a feeling if I contact this dude, he'll actually probably make good on whatever it is. <laughs> oh, that's why. I've never seen a toggle like that. Actually, the toggle is just too... The switch itself isn't deep enough into the neck, bridge, in the middle. When you switch it this way, it's going underneath the contact switch. Adjust that a little deeper, I think. <laughs> There's no wiggle room there. Oh, it was too long, so it was loose. Oh god, what did I do? I fucked it up. <laughs> That's what you get for fucking around, man. How do I fix it? So right here, the inside there, that thing needs to go back farther that way, so when it turns sideways, it sits on top of one of those little angles. I pulled it out because I'm a fucking idiot. It switches this way. It gets stuck on top of there and it won't, uh, won't come back off of it. That's just a bad design. I'm going to have to replace that with a different toggle. Pickups, bridge, both, and neck. So a Gibson they make some very nice guitars. They're really pretty. They're very overpriced. Um, and for me personally, they're too heavy. They're too expensive. And uh, they're just not comfortable to play. Uh, the whole thing with Fender, with Leo Fender, was he wanted to make the guitar just better and easier for people to play. This thing has, it's rounded on the ends. It has a, a contour here. For your, for your forearm, so there's no corner digging into it. That's got a belly cut because he's a realist. And, you know, they're just more, fenders are more comfortable to play. There's, I, I know there's people that play Gibsons that love them and they don't give a fuck what they feel like. Or they feel perfect for them and that's fine. But for me, it's always too expensive to begin with, so I got used to other guitars. got kind of used to fenders and they're so comfortable to play and this is really nice it's pretty thin I mean there's a, a deep cut here and here it makes it super comfortable I'm gonna put some tens on it I think it's got 11s on it so it's a little heavier than I'm used to and I want to feel a little bit more like the Paul Reed Smith the fucked up thing is this costs more than my Paul Reed Smith <laughs> I mean it's a little rarer uh, you can't really and you can find them, obviously, but having a guitar set up like this with that headstock is just cool. Let's try this. All right, so it's going to be set on a rectifier setting. This is my Line 6 pod. 
it's ancient, but it works really well. So I have a, it's on rectified, with a 212 cabinet, and drives all the way up. atomic pickups I think and uh, they don't do too bad but half drive I'm going to put it up so it's a good crunch and then roll off the volume and see where it is full distortion and just the pickup rolled off and it sounded kind of cool <laughs> neat so uh, that's my new guitar uh, I'm gonna pull up something and just jam along to it Not as nice as my Paul Reed's, is it, is it? It plays different. If I put the gauge strings on that I want, I think it'll be comparable. But not quite as nice. We'll see. Because the string tension is so different, it's hard to compare. So uh, maybe I'll do a test between them. Because they're both kind of... The Paul Reed Smith was supposed to be the best of both worlds, and this is kind of, kind of the same thing. It's, it's supposed to take a uh, Fender Gibson and just put them together, obviously. So, it looks fucking badass. I love it, man. It's so pretty. So, I don't know. Let, let me know what you want to do. If you want to see more gear stuff, I can go through all my guitars if you want. I'll give a shit. And figure out kind of why, what's the use of different ones, and what I fiddled, fiddled with on all of them, because I messed around with a lot of them. A lot. So, I don't know. Let me know. And, uh, sorry about the sound. I don't like this mic, but is easier to use for this than the other one so uh you know like and subscribe stuff man why wouldn't you it's so easy